everybody. My name is Graham Ode, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Truth comes rising up from somewhere below Wayne Manor outskirts of Gotham City. I'm glad you're here watching what we're doing. Do me a quick favor. Hit the like button. Let's get that out of the way. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Those analytics help. So the fallout from the siege on January, Wednesday, January 6th, a bunch of Trump supporters uh, took control of the Capitol building. And some of them were carrying, wearing neo-Nazi stuff, Confederate flags. Some of them had guns. Um, and Trump spurred it on. And even while they were doing it, he was on Twitter saying, you know, keep going or whatever. So all these corporations now are, are, are pulling money from donating to the Republican Party, which I guess that's a good thing. But I mean... What happened at the Capitol was awful, but everyone's acting like this is the worst thing that's ever happened. And it is awful and it is way up there, but it is not. And these corporations that fund, and I'm going to give you a list of them. There's several hundred. And this, this, um, this website reached out and some of them said, we are, we are public. And they're, and I'm going to go through that. They're like, we're not donating to the Republicans that wouldn't, that basically voted against the results of the electoral college there was republicans that had said we're not you know we don't believe that the election was real or and we we don't think joe biden is the is the winner so we're not going to we're going to vote against certifying it even after the siege of the capitol building there's still some that's vote. all right so they're these companies don't want to give them money anymore all right good yeah hold them accountable but this is the, the, the there's a bigger issue here so 60,000 Americans die every year because they don't have health insurance. Where's the outcry about that? No, there was no outcry. There's no outcry by the corporate media. There's no outcry by these corporations because these corporations profit from this. It's, 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 every, it's, it's literally several hundred corporations. You know, we're bombing seven countries. Where's the outcry from that? None. You know, people are dying because they have contaminated water. They've still, they have contaminated water. This is like year six now of contaminated water in Flint, maybe seven. And where's all the up outcry about that? You know, so, you know, it's just, again, it's like the Capitol building and politicians inside of it that are owned by these big corporations, when they were actually threatened, when the ruling elites are at, were actually threatened, then it's like, oh God, we got to do something about it. And the people that died there, it's awful. It's awful what happened. But so many more awful things happen. 85,000 dead children in Yemen. Are these companies going to pull their money from anyone that voted for that war? No, war's profitable. And when working class and poor people die, it's like, eh, so what? But when ruling elites are threatened, whoa, whoa, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. What Trump did was awful. It's awful. I mean, like, he should, he should be arrested for inciting a riot. If a regular citizen did that, hey, go attack the Capitol building, and a bunch of people did it, that person would be in jail. But I just want to point out all this hypocrisy, man. And also showing like what the pressure of the, when I talk about vote with your dollars and boycott and threaten money. Remember now, I said this when the George Floyd protest happened, started to happen over the summer and people were like really pissed off. Uh, the Washington Redskins changed their name. Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Redskins, has said for years, I'm never changing the name. It's part of our history. I'm not changing the name. He said, I won't change the name. Well, the George Floyd protest, millions of people took to the streets you know, for weeks and months and they pressured FedEx and FedEx said, we're going to pull our $500 million stadium licensing deal. If you don't change the name, Oh, boom, name got changed like that. So there's a lot, there's a lot to this. I'm not minimizing what happened to the Capitol. It was awful, but there's a lot worse shit that the reaction is sort of like eh. stuff that's equally as bad or worse than what happened at the Capitol. The reaction is like, well, what are you, how are you going to pay for it? Medicare for all. No, no, no. People are dying because they don't have free health care. 
They don't have healthcare. They're dying. We need to stop that. Tens of thousands of people every year die. It's even worse now in a pandemic. Yeah, man, how are you going to pay for it? We got to force the vote. And anyone that doesn't want to force the vote, fuck them. Oh, Jimmy Dore said mean things. Where, where, where is this outcry when tens of thousands of people die? I'm not saying this reaction is too much. I'm saying, why don't we have this reaction for other awful things? That's what I'm saying. Three major corporations tell popular information that they will stop contributing to Republican members of Congress who encourage the rioters by objecting to the certification of the Electoral College vote. But there were 147 Republican members of Congress, including eight senators who objected to the certified results of the Electoral College in one or more states. Eight senators. There was 14 who said they were going to not certify the election before the riot. That number came down to eight. But these eight people, when they reconvened, after the Capitol was sieged by people wearing neo-Nazi and Auschwitz and horrible shit, AR-15s, um, you know, uh, those those uh, hand, those uh, plastic tie handcuffs, right? You've seen those photos. You saw what happened. A woman who was a Trump supporter got trampled. A cop was killed. Like, awful shit happened. Even after all of that, these eight assholes still, and here are their names, Tommy Tuberville, a Republican from Alabama. These are senators. If these are your senators, give them a call. Let them know what you think. Rick Scott, Roger Marshall from Kansas, John Kennedy from Louisiana, Cindy Hyde-Smith from Mississippi, Josh Howley from Missouri, Ted Cruz from Texas, and Cynthia Loomis from Wyoming followed through with their objections when the state recovered, reconvened after order was restored. Wow. After all that, they still did it. Okay. So when I say vote with your dollars, there's so many ways to do that. You pressure people, you boycott, and you pressure these companies. So any of these companies that have donated to these people, you now have, this is a moment where you can say, nope, we're done. Like Standing Rock divest in any of these banks or companies that are investing in the Dakota Access Pipeline. Pull your money out of those banks. Put it in a credit union, right? So, so this is what happened, this pressure. The Blue Cross Blue Shield Association, known as Blue Pack. Now, Blue Pack, to be real clear, it's one of the main reasons we don't have free healthcare in this company is because of Blue Pack. They spend a lot of money, right? They favor Republicans over Democrats in the last three cycles, but they have donated $395,000 to Republicans and three, three, or 959 to Republicans, 359 to Democrats. But they're one of the reasons you don't have free health care. If you either don't have health care or you have rising health care costs, if you've got shitty Obamacare that you can barely afford and it sucks anyone, anyone when you have to use it, one of the reasons is Blue Cross, this Blue Pack, prevents that. And they give to both parties. Big Pharma gives to both parties. During the 2020 cycle, Blue Pack donated to three senators who objected to the Electoral College vote. Ten grand to Tuberville, a thousand to Marshall, and five hundred to Howley. So let these companies know. Pressure them. All they care about is money. They don't care about morals. They don't care about ethics. They're not pulling their money because, oh my God, maybe they think what happened Wednesday was awful. Okay. But they're still, they, they must go, God, that was awful. And then their very next thought is, oh, this could hurt our stock price. So we got to look like we're on the right side of this. I guarantee you those are the conversations that are having. Maybe some of the people within this organization were like sincerely outraged and were like, uh-uh, no more donations to these people. Okay. But they don't have that same level of outrage when 60,000 people die every year because they don't have health care, because they profit off of that death. Blue Cross Blue Shield Association President and CEO Kim Keck said it was suspending all support to the 147 Republicans who voted to subvert the results of November's election by challenging Electoral College results. 
Okay. And you folks, as the consumers of these companies, this is when I say, when, when I, I, I vote with your dollars, this is how change happens. So you say I'm pulling, I'm getting rid of my Blue Cross insurance and going to a different insurance company, or you're a small business owner and you insure your 20 employees or whatever through Blue Cross and you say, uh-uh. That kind of pressure, that kind of pressure helps. Because I'm going to show you the companies that are pulling their money. And then there's a long list of companies that haven't, that didn't respond to the, uh, the journalists who did this article. During the 2020 cycle, Marriott's PAC donated $1,000 to Howley's campaign and another grand to Howley's leadership PAC. Marriott. Dow Inc., massive chemical company, was more definitive. The company told Popular Information on Monday that it will no longer donate to any member of Congress who objected to the certification of the Electoral College for the duration of their term in office. And this, this is a short list of the company's that re responded to the journalists and said they were going to do some something. They're going to pull money or do some reaction to this. AT and T, Deloitte, Dow, Airbnb, Hallmark. So again, these companies aren't heroes. Let's be real clear here. They were donating to awful people, and the reason these companies are donating are to protect their profits, not to help you at all. AT and T. Gee, you think they want more regulation for cell phones? No, they think they want investigations into the uh, environmental and medical impacts of 5G? Absolutely not. They're paying to get make sure that the 5G doesn't get fully vetted and investigated and researched and tested. And <laughs> they're paying for that. Coke, JP, I mean, look at these companies. 3M, chemical company, Microsoft, UPS, G, UPS. I wonder if any of the people that UPS is donated to are like vocal against the post office. You know, the United States Postal Service, that's a service that every American should have the right to have. We should have cheap shipping, have a postal carrier deliver to any re address anywhere in America. You get the mail, that's a service. You want to pay for faster stuff with FedEx? Fine. But again, FedEx is on here. UPS is on here. I'm just showing you. So it took, you know, Nazis taking over the capital for these companies to go, oh, wait a minute. And they'll still donate to other, to corporate Democrats or whatever. Coke, JP Morgan, H&R Block, Charles Schwab, Amex, Amgen, that's a pharmaceutical company, Target, T-Mobile, FedEx, CVS, Exxon. This is who owns our politicians, by the way. Okay, so good for them. They're pulling their money and, and holding these Republicans that voted with Trump, who's a fucking crazy Nazi, um, holding them accountable. But here's like 106 companies that all donated money, that all donated money, because it says this is a matter of public record. You go to opensecrets.org, you can see who got what money from whom. Look at this list. You can't even, it's too long. It's a hundred some names. Aflac, Bacardi, Anthem, AMC Theaters, Amazon, CBS, NBC. So how, explain to me, explain to me how, wh why does CBS and NBC need to donate Why did they don't, why are they donating to any member of Congress, let alone Republicans that were voting against the election results? You see how, what this shows, everyone's all up in arms and okay, what happened again is bad. But when you really dig into this, it shows you how horribly corrupt our system is. Why can't people trust the news? This is why. Comcast, Charter Communications, Cox, CBS, NBC, Ernst & Young, Fox Corporation. So you think there's a difference between MSNBC and Fox? They both donate to Republican candidates. <laughs> Do you see the bullshit? 
Fox is telling the truth. MSNBC is the only one. I can't, you can't trust any of them. Look at this Home Depot, Honeywell, JBS, JetBlue, Coke Industries. So I just want to show you this. When Rachel Maddow is oh, talking about the Koch brothers, she works for NBC Universal that donates to these Republicans, just like the Koch brothers did. That's why it's all fake theater. The corporate media is all theater. The corporate media is going to cover this story, but not the way I am. They're going to cover it like, yep, we're getting Trump because Trump's bad. Trump, this is the only bad thing that's ever happened. What if everybody pressured these? What if people peacefully not violently, not showing up with guns, but went to the Capitol and sat there and did a sit-in protest and said, we're not leaving. And thousands of people got in the Capitol and said, we're not leaving until we get Medicare for all. Liberty Mutual Insurance, Lockheed Martin, defense contractor, Marathon Petroleum Company, McDonald's, Met Life. News Corp. That's Fox again. Northrop Grumman, defense contractor, Northwestern Mutual Insurance Company, Occidental Petroleum, Pfizer, PG&E, Oracle, Phillips 66 Gas Companies, Raytheon, <laughs> Rolls-Royce, Safeway, Samsung Electronics, it's the C Sierra Nevada. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Southwood Airlines, Teva Pharmaceuticals, Walt Disney. So all of them now are represented. Walt Disney owns ABC and ESPN. We got Walt Disney. We got, where were they? Fox News Group. Where were they? They were up here somewhere. Remember we saw Fox somewhere. Yeah, Fox, NBC, CBS. and charter that's all of them that's all of the major networks that's all the major media outlets are donating to these republicans and i'm sure they donate to democrats as well gee how come they're not covering the epstein story the ruling elites control everything that's what this list should tell you toyota tyson foods United Airlines, Universal Music, Verizon, Wells Fargo. So every telecommunications company and every major bank, every insurance company, the defense contractors. Do you see this? Okay, good. Some of them. And these are the ones that aren't, that, as of the printing of this article, have not vowed to never donate to these companies again. Or to these uh, uh, Republicans again. So again, what happened at the Capitol is awful. The fact that these companies are pulling their financial support from these Republicans. All right. I, I agree with that. That's a good thing. But why can't they do it for other things that we need? Free health care. Why are we dropping all these bombs? Um, net neutrality. All of, I, I, you heard me list the companies. They all profit. Those things that we, the mat, the 99% need, we need healthcare, we need free college, we need free and fair elections, we need uh, money out of politics, we need to end the wars, we need to go to a green energy. Well, all of these companies are paying politicians to make sure we never get those things. <laughs> That's why. They pay for all of this and they all, you see, they're all working together. So Raytheon and Boeing and Lockheed Martin, right? They buy ad time on NBC and Fox and CBS. And so when there's a democratic primary on any one of these channels, they all had, they all carried a primary, right? They all carried a, a, a debate, a democratic primary debate, remember? And they'd ask Bernie, how will your plan, how are you going to pay for Medicare for all? They're all paid. They buy that ad time. So that's why that happened. So thanks for watching the show, everybody. What do I tell you to do? Follow the money, connect the dots, 
find the truth. Shave your knuckles for justice. Boom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.